This is the Rex T. Barber Bridge, and it's 300 feet from the water to the road surface. We have to go through and look for shear cracks and flexure cracks in the structure to make sure it still stays sound. It has uh, new seismic disks on top of the column to help it be structurally sound, and those have to be inspected for debris. The regional bridge inspector and the snooper crane are looking for cracks and looking at the actual bearing disks. They're like a saucer and marble so they can take seismic activity, making sure they're free of debris, clear, haven't moved, or in a correct alignment to uh, make sure that's all going to work in case of a natural disaster event and to monitor cracks over time if any should appear. Those are the spots that we cannot access from the man safe or in the uh, enclosed box girder system. So he's hitting their hard to reach access points. It's an enclosed box girders. It's considered a confined space in there. So we do the sniffing prior to entering and then monitor as we go through. And that's how you get access to the arches and inspect them as well. So we access through a ladder and a porthole hatch on one end. And then as we go through, we use our lights and we look for cracks on the walls, on the deck, and on the, you know, all the way around. You just go slow through, look for cracks. And if you notice any, you mark them and then they get logged into a database that can keep track if they grow or over time and if it's going to be an issue. Heights don't bother me, but I have a, I'm pretty afraid of falling, you know, that, so, you know, I don't bounce too well. So uh, unless you're right on the edge, it's not bad. You know, it's different for everybody. This is pretty safe structure to be in and on, considering some of them I've been on in the past 15, 20 years. This one, it's real user friendly for us because, you know, ladder access, and then once you're in, you're enclosed, you go through, and then you have the portholes you drop through, and you get out on the arch, and then there's a man safe system you hook into, and you can actually concentrate on your inspection and not worry about falling all the time. You can go down the arches to the thrust blocks and footings in the cliff and those have to be inspected also because all the weight is transferred down to those locations and they're massive compared to the old structures. Uh, this thing was really built sturdy. There's a lot of steel in there that were really attached into the cliff but we still have to do our two-year inspection and go around and look for cracks but uh, yeah it's it's a world all its own once you get down there. You have to understand whether it's under tension or compression and it changes over the distance of the structure so you look for key indicators throughout. We went down there earlier and looked everything over and uh, everything looks good. It's a real good structure. It's going to hold up. It's going to be safe. People travel down the road for hours and hours but their most critical spot is these three four hundred feet they cross these structures. That's where they're going to have the most issues if anywhere and the state in general has a good program for keeping up under preservation and maintenance and uh, I don't think they'll have any worries on this one for a long time.